do together if I had wings, too. <gasps> Just think, Peg, we could be the do-good flying duo. <laughs> oh, Corn, you're perfectly perfect just the way you are. You don't need wings. Too late. I'm Wing Dazzle, ready for takeoff. Uh, I don't know, Corn. Oh, come on, Peg, please. Teaching me to fly so I could do good like you would be the do-goodiest thing to do. You're right, Corn. I'll teach you to fly. Oh, thank you, Peg. Cause what do we do? We do good. Do gooders unite! Here we go. It's time to do what we do best. Peg, what do we do? Do good. What do we do? Do good. Let's saddle up and help our friends. Corn, what do we do? Do good. What do we do? Do good. Let's make a difference, me and you, like Captain Thunder. Ready for my first flying lesson, Peg. Thunderific, Corn. We'll be the do good flying duo in no time. Now show me what you got. Okay, here I go. Um, Peg, what do I do? You go up, 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 then you fly, like zoom. Then you swerve, like wee. Then it's the tuh, cause a bug got in your mouth. <laughs> and well. Yes, yes, well. It's hard to explain. When it comes to flying, I just kind of do it. Trying to get a unicorn airborne, huh? Well, it isn't impossible, but it isn't easy either. Pilot P! You used to be a pilot. Maybe you can explain how flying works. First, you need to get your featherless friend here into the air somehow. Pilots call that lift. Lift is what pulls you up off the ground. Like this? How's this! Does this count? Uh, am I doing it? <laughs> You'll have to stay in the air longer than that to fly. And that's what wings are for, right, Pete? Right. Come on, Corn. Let's wing it. Thanks, Thanks Pilot, Pilot Pete. Pete! Like Pilot Pete said, to get you flying, we need your wings to lift you up, up, up. Try flapping them as fast as you can, like this. Got it. Er, 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 come on, wings. Do your thing. Uh, uh, I guess cardboard wings aren't as floppy as real ones. Or as lifty. <laughs> but I've got an idea that might help. 
floaty balloons. You really think they're gonna help me? Enough of them should lift you off the ground for sure. Fluttering fillies, it's working. Corn, you're flying. Well, you're floating, but it's almost like flying. Hey, how about that? A floating unicorn. Hey, Pete, look at me. I'm doing it. <laughs> Lift got you off the ground, but flying is more than just hanging there. We need the zoom part. Exactly. Pilots call that thrust. Something to push you through the air. <gasps> like a jetpack? Oh, no. But you got the idea. Good luck. You heard Pete. We need to get you moving. Come on. Uh, Peg? I might need a push or something. <laughs> we'll have to pop some of those balloons to get you back down. Oh, I've got this one. My horn's nice and pointy. Wow, your horn sure is a super cool balloon popper. Yeah, but if we're gonna be the do-good flying duo, I need to be flying, not landing. Don't worry, I've got a plan that'll help you soaring in no time. Follow me. Okay, so what's the plan? The balloons are helping lift you off the ground. But we need to get me moving through the air to fly. Right, so if you slide down the slide fast... Whee! <gasps> it'll launch me through the air and I'll be flying! Peg, you're a genius! Here I go! <gasps> Hi, Peg. Hi, Corn. I don't think that worked. Nope, I'm super stuck. My wings and balloons got caught. Well, can you pop any more balloons? Whoa. Oh no, my wings are ruined. <sighs> I'm not sure our plan to be the flying do-good duo is gonna work. Don't worry, Corn. We'll think of something. <sighs> Whoa, this wind is really strong now. Will that help me fly? <sighs> Strong wind is great for flying kites, but whoa! Not for flying horses. Whoa! Bye, Corn. Hey! Whoa! Huh? Sorry, Ferris. <gasps> Excuse me, Clarissa. <gasps> hey! Nice kite, Mayor Montague. <laughs> hey! Are you okay? That was a fun ride, but now I'm all <coughs> tied up. Trot back, everyone, trot back. I'll fly up and bring her down. Whoa, that wind is strong. <laughs> Tell my wife I'll be late for dinner. I'm OK. It's far too windy to get you down right now, Peg. <laughs> yeah, try to hang tight. OK, Mayor Montague. That's it! Where are you going, Corn? Don't worry, Peg. The rescue is about to take flight. But it's way too windy for flying horses. Wind might not be good for flying horses, but it's great for flying kites. <gasps> great idea, Corn. It's time for me to fly. Left, right, hey, ba I think you might need a co-pilot or two for this one. We're all here to help. Great. I'm going to need it. Here I go! Whoa! Corn, you're flying! He's Corn, flying. He's flying! I'm flying? Ah! Whoa! Too high! Too twisty! Whoa! A little help, please! Everybody, grab on! <laughs> Steady, steady. Phew. Okay, I need to get closer to Peg. All right, gang. Let out more string. Easy, easy. Here I come, Peg. There I go, Peg. Gotcha. <gasps> Thanks, Peg. Let's get you down. <laughs> These knots are too tight. We have to cut them somehow. We need something sharp and pointy. <gasps> like my horn. Good idea. That 
balloon popper will make a great string cutter. Whoa! 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 Gotcha! Thanks, corn! Yeah. Yeah. Now pull us in! Pull! Pull, everybody! Oh, here, my cap! Got it! Great catch, Peg! We really are the Duke and Flying Duo! No, back on solid ground! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you for flying to my rescue, Corn. And thanks for rescuing my cat. Not bad for a first-time flyer. I think that was my first time and my last time. I'll leave the flying to you, Peg. You know what really saved the day today? The Captain Thunderhoof kite? You're do good, Unicorn Horn. I'd still be up that pole without it. It is pretty do-goody. I guess horns and wings do make a great team. Kind of like you and me. Hooray for the Do Good Flying Duo. Hooray! Cattle Drive. Stay still, cows. Come back here. They won't stop moving. Huh? Buttercup, I don't need a cleaning, you do. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I guess Buttercup thinks you need a bath, too. <laughs> well done, Corn and Peg. These cows look clean and shiny for their trip. Just in time, too. Teddy Tumbleweed will be here soon. Who's Teddy Tumbleweed? He's a cowboy. <gasps> Did you say cowboy? A yippee ki yay root and toot and cowboy? Absolutely. Corn thinks cowboys are thunderific. Teddy's taking the cows on a cattle drive to the lemon hay field today. It's their favorite field trip. <coughs> Whoa, Mabel, you come back here. Oh, Peg, I've always dreamed of being a cowboy going on a cattle drive. Mm. <gasps> oh, hi, Teddy. He's here. A real life cowboy. Corn and Peg, this is Teddy Tumbleweed. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Hi, Teddy. Please, please, please teach me how to be a cowboy. First things first, little buckaroo. I came to pick up ten cows. Uh, good luck with that. They aren't really listening to us. Watch. Here, cows. See? Sometimes you just have to whistle. It's a cowboy thing. Ooh, watch me whistle like a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling takes practice, and practice makes perfect. Now, let's see how many cows we got here. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six over here. And one, two, three, four over here. Six plus four is ten. That's everyone. Then to the lemon hay field we go. <whistles> go on, Buttercup. You don't want to miss out on yummy lemon hay, do you? <laughs> I reckon Buttercup would rather follow Corn and Peg than me. <laughs> Buttercup would follow those two anywhere. Wait a minute. I bet if we went with you on the cattle drive, then Buttercup would definitely come. Really? Y'all would do that? We'd hate to see Buttercup miss out on lemon hay. Well then, I'd be mighty obliged. Helping the cattle drive is gonna be a rootin' tootin' do good time. Because what do we do? We do good. Do gooders unite! Here we go! Gave us a map to follow. Uh-oh. Looks like the cows are splitting up. Why don't you all run ahead and try to keep them together? Okay. 
Okay, Teddy. Yeah! Stay together, cows. Yip, yip. Don't wander off. Yeah! Great job. Where are we, Peg? Let me see. This is Farmer Shire's farm, so this must be Rocky River. And the lemon hay field is that way. On the other side of the river? Yep. Ain't no way around it. So we have to get the cows across. Soggy saddles. How are we going to do that? Swim? Nope. There's a shallow area here that's safe to cross. But we have to get a rope to the other side first. You're up, Peg. On it, Teddy. This rope will show the cows where it's safe to cross. And give them something to grab in case anyone trips. Corn, you guide the herd. Since Buttercup likes you so much, get her to follow you across. The other cows will follow her. You got it, Teddy. Come on, Buttercup, move it. <laughs> Look, I'm doing it, just like a real cowboy. Yeah! <laughs> oh. You okay, Corn? Yeah, I tripped. Hey, where's my hat? <gasps> it's floating away. Oh, no. There's an old saying. If you can't reach it, rope it. Make it twirl, lock it right. Spin it, aim it, pull it tight. Whoa! I so want to do that. You keep that one. I've got another. Wow, thanks. Remember, if you can't reach it, rope it. Make it twirl, lock it right. Spin it, aim it, pull it tight. Now give it a try. Okay. Make it twirl, lock it right. Spin it, aim it. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> Don't worry, little feller. You'll get the hang of it. Besides, a cowboy never gives up. Then I'll never give up. Yippee-yo, get along, little doggies. To the lemon hay grass you will roam. Yippee-yo, get along, little doggies. Back to your warm country home. Uh-oh. Come on, Buttercup. You're falling behind. <whistles> hey, I whistled. Well, look at that. You're getting the hang of being a cowboy. Thanks, Teddy. <laughs> look, guys. There's Horsehead Mountain. The lemon hay field should be right below it. It is. Look, there. We made it! Yeah! Get a wiggle on. Great cookout, Peg. The cows look so happy. They are. And this usually makes them even happier. We better get back to Farmer Shire's farm. Cows do not like thunderstorms. We don't want a stampede. A stamp what? A stampede is when the cows get scared and run off in different directions. Oh, that's a stampede. Come on, let's all spread out. We have to stop the cows from running off. <laughs> yeah! Ready, Peg? Ready, Corn. Yeah! Yeah! Stay together. Yeah! Come on! Stay together! Move it on out! Good job, partners. We, we did, did it! Better count them. Make sure all ten are here. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four. But five plus four is nine. That means one is missing. Wait, no one's licking me. <gasps> Buttercup is missing. Stay with the herd. I'll find her. No, wait. We'll go get her. Yeah, she'll follow us anywhere. I can fly up high to spot her, and my horn can light up the way. You youngins are full of surprises. Go do me proud. Yeah! Something ahead! <gasps> it sounds 
like Buttercup. It is Buttercup. But look, she must have slipped in the mud, and now she can't get out. And if we get in there, we might be stuck with her. If only there was a way to pull her out. That's it. Teddy said if you can't reach it, rope it. We can use the lasso to pull Buttercup out of the mud. Good thinking, Cowboy Corn. Let's save Buttercup. Left, right, tape, switch out! Make it twirl, lock it right. Spin it, aim it, pull it tight. Yeah! Holy hay bales! You did it! Now pull! Uh, 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 uh. Nice work, partner! <laughs> Let's get her on back to the herd. Teddy, we found Buttercup. She's safe and sound. Great job, buckaroos. Ooh, that storm is blowing in quick. Y'all ready to leave? You betcha. Let's go. Corn, take the lead. You're the one with a thunderific headlight. Did you hear that, Peg? He likes my headlight. Let's move on out. <whistles> yeah! Hoppin' horse hooves, they made it. Howdy, Farmer Shire. Good to see you. I was so worried. Nothing to worry about with the two best cattle drivers this side of Gallopin' Grove. <gasps> Does that mean? I'm a cowboy now? It sure does, Corn. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, buttercup. <laughs> 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 <laughs>